My name is Dan Bergenthal. I work for the Salt Lake City Transportation Division. Uh, we are standing on 2nd South by the Capitol Theater, which is about 50 West. The Hawk signal here uh, was placed here because of the amount of pedestrian traffic we have here crossing to the Capitol Theater mostly. A Hawk signal benefits pedestrians by providing a red traffic signal. It stops traffic, requires them to stop. It's much better than a yellow flasher, which we have in other places around downtown. Um, the yellow flashers are warning flashers and warn the motorists that a pedestrian may be crossing. It doesn't actually require them to stop unless they really need to. The red signal here does require them to stop. We really like them because they add an element of safety for pedestrians. Obviously, it, it'll stop the traffic and allows the pedestrians to cross. Um, at the same time, it helps benefit vehicles as well because it doesn't hold them up as long as the standard traffic signal does. Because at a standard traffic signal, as long as it's red, you have to sit there and wait, even if there's no pedestrians in front of you. This type of signal, once it starts flashing red, if there's no longer a pedestrian in front of you, then you can proceed. For pedestrians, there's no learning curve at all, really. It works just like any other traffic signal. But for, for car drivers, uh, we do have a sign up there that explains what you're supposed to be doing. I think some of them get a little confused when it starts flashing red. They don't know what that means, but that simply means it works like a stop sign. And you'll see commonly um, red flashers associated with stop, stop signs in some locations. Um, so it flashes red, it's a stop sign. You come up, you stop. If there's no one in front of you, then you can proceed. Yeah, I think it does work really well in Salt Lakes due to the length of our blocks. Um, people, a lot of times, just aren't willing to walk to the end of the blocks because they are so long. And so by having these mid-block, it really um, makes the area much more pedestrian friendly.